All right, so today your task is to write a vignette. A vignette. Now, if you don't know the word vignette, um, vignette uh, actually like it's used a lot now as like a filter for photos and stuff. Um, but a, a vignette is essentially it's a short story, very, very short story. But in this case, when you're talking about it in a literary context, it's a snapshot of a moment or an event. So it's brief, but it's still that it's nonfiction. It's that that description of that moment. Okay, so vignette, in this case, we're going to say it's a snapshot of a moment or an event. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to write about a moment in your life. And in the process, it's going to tell the reader a little bit about who you are. Why are you? So uh, a vignette is a descriptive piece of writing. And it should reveal feeling. Should reveal characterization, in this case, characterization of you, um, through showing something not telling it. So you're walking us through that particular moment. Maybe this moment took days and days and days to develop, but there's always that one thing that you're like, okay, that's the essence of those days. That's the story you want to tell. Okay. Basically pick that moment, put it in the magnifying glass and show it to us. Now you're going to write a grand total of three vignettes in this portion of the class. Okay. So, um, just kind of some, be thinking about big picture. Okay. Now today you're only worried about doing one, um, but big picture, you are going to be doing three. Now, ultimately you're going to want to take those vignettes and you're going to want to organize them into some sort of, ma um, manner that makes sense to you, some order that makes sense to you. So it could be by theme, could just be chronologically the way they, they, uh, um, um, occurred could be, um, I don't know, maybe they're all parts of the same overall story and it, make, it makes sense. It's fine. The big thing is you, once you finally put them together, you want to make sure it's not random. Okay. Um, so that's something to be thinking about too. But really, when you're choosing what to write about, just choose what you want to write about. Okay. Don't worry about how they relate to each other because that, that'll come. Um, but in the process, it's going to give you a sense of purpose for, you know, th that organization. So here's some suggestions for possible vignettes. Now, just so you know, um, in, in the actual assignment sheet, I included a very lengthy list. I'm just going to give you a couple examples here so that you kind of get the sort of thing we're talking about. Um, maybe the earliest thing you remember ever doing. Maybe your most embarrassing moment. First crush. If you have a life philosophy, what is it? Maybe where do you see yourself being in 10 years and why? What, in other words, what are your goals? Time you broke a bone. First time you ever rebelled against anyone. Rebelled against authority in what way? Or if you haven't rebelled against authority, well then, there you go. Why haven't you rebelled against authority? If there was a TV show you had to live in, what would it be? What's well, a place that's really, really special to you? You see, you see, you see where we're going here. So some of these are actual memory memories, okay, and some of these are um, just kind of revealing accounts of yourself, but they're very, very personal, okay. And that is a vignette. That's all it is. All right. So you want to make sure that you look at that at that sheet. Remember, this is a snapshot of you, and it should reveal something about you in some way, okay. All right, now just so you know, the entire thing, probably not going to be all that long, maybe, you know, one to two pages, because um, it's supposed to be a snapshot. It's not a big, lengthy dissertation. Now, it doesn't mean that it couldn't be turned into something more, or it doesn't mean if you are having a lot of success, you don't want to just keep on going and write it into something more. That's fine. But it's totally fine if what you end up with is, you know, one, 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 one and a half pages or so. Um, that's a very normal length for a vignette. All right, that is your task for today. Write vignette number one. Remember, three of these eventually uh, will be in your portfolio. All right, get cracking.